Hi, everybody. Welcome to this edition of Cigar Chat. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know that uh, we've been kind of busy. Um, haven't been able to do too many videos lately. And uh, the fact that I dropped my phone in the pool, well, that was a little bit of a, you know, uh, sidetrack, I guess. Or a setback, I should say. But anyway, um, I'm trying out a new device here today, so bear with me. Hopefully the quality is good and, you know, you guys enjoy the, the video. I'm going to go ahead and um, sample something that I've been working on for a few months. Not even close to being ready. So I'm not going to disclose any details of what it is. Let's just say it is a prototype of something that I want to do for next year. So let me go ahead and cut it and fire it up. Trusty little V-cut here. So anyway, let's fire this puppy up and see how it does. Nice flavor so far. Just toasting it up a little bit here. This is a classic Churchill, seven inches by 48 ring. Probably one of my favorite sizes. When I first started smoking cigars, this was one of the first ones we, uh, one of the first ones I ever smoked was a Churchill size. I would say this is mild to medium. Really good flavor so far. But anyway, Flor de Tampa, pretty good smoke, one of my favorites. This blend is probably a little milder than the Flor de Tampa. It's kind of like La Floridana that we're making. Nice even burn, good construction as you can see. So what do you got in your head, Fernando? What's that? So, I got a tabaco robusto, ornelas, hecho a mano, handmade from Mexico. Um, it's, uh, it's been out a few years already. Quite it's from a few November years. of 1997. 1997. So it's uh, a cedar wrap. Yep. Look. 25 years old. So we're going to light it up and see um, what see it tastes like, how, how it tastes, tastes and how, how it is. Yeah, the first time I'm smoking this one, so I don't know. You know, we uh, we had thousands of these cigars at one time. Dad and I, we bought right. we bought a lot of these, and they were already out of production. And we ended up, you know, um, getting them and, of yeah. course, wholesaling them and stuff. Yeah. But then this box is a survivor. Well, wow, especially. So I, I thought mean, that was hey, pretty cool. See how well it aged. and uh, Just bear in mind, you're smoking a cigar that's 25 years old. I know, so 25 years the old. flavor is not going to be, you know, so, the greatest there. <laughs> gonna see how it aged and uh take it from there take it from there yeah yeah so this is the one we're smoking today the one where we just unwrapped um it's a robusto hecho a mano from mexico uh 25 years old right yeah i'm gonna <laughs> go like this yeah 25 year old cigar i'm gonna fire it up right now comes with his own uh, cedar wrap and uh, we're smoking it right now and it's not bad this is uh, San Andres tobacco grown in um, the San Andres Valley in Mexico it's, um, and um, yeah these are really nice I mean for a 25 year old cigar I mean they taste pretty good they do and they I do and I gotta remember back in the day this brand Ornelas was very, very reputable. I mean, what a beautiful packaging. Individually uh, wrapped in cedar. I mean, they spared no expense when they made these cigars. They did, it's really nice, I mean. We must have sold thousands of them back in the day, you know. Luckily enough, we had a survivor box, which I thought was pretty <laughs> funny. Um, we just took it out of the humidor today. Wow. It's a good cigar, it is medium to mm. full. It got that. You know, I'm almost tempted to keep that box. <clears throat> It's just one of those things that when they're gone, they're gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
it's good. It's, I mean, but of course, we have to smoke one or two and break them in, and we'll see how they are before we put them on the market and see, see before we sell them. And that way, we know you can that they are customers' recommendations. Yeah, that way we know that they are they are in good shape. They can smoke them, and um, mm. wow, very well rolled. I'm trying to remember the San Andres tobacco. Um, was, There's something else that I was going to say about the tobacco. Was, was the filler just from Mexico or there was filler, you think, from other countries? Do you remember? I don't remember, but if I recall correctly, that's one of the things about Mexico is they're all about using all Mexican tobacco. Oh, okay. Because I remember many years ago, um, Padron, the old man, mm -hmm. was going to go to Mexico to make cigars. This was like, I think, pre-Nicaragua. Okay. And when he pitched the idea to the Mexican government, he had already been in Nicaragua since the 60s. So no, so not pre Nicaragua. He was already in, yeah. in Nicaragua. Anyway, he said to the Mexican government, "I'm gonna go ahead and make cigars here in uh, in San Andres." Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the town, but anyway, they said he said to them, "He goes, I'm gonna import tobacco from Nicaragua, and I'm gonna use Mexican tobacco." And the Mexican government said, "No, no, listen, we don't allow that. If you don't use 100% Mexican tobacco, it's not gonna work." So he decided to not open up that factory. Oh, okay. Well, Otherwise, we would probably have a Padron Mexican Nicaraguan, Nicaragua. which I think would be dynamite. That would be great. Yeah, you know, San Andreas rappers always, you know, it's back on on the market again. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are using San Andreas market uh, rappers. These are just as every bit as good as a Cuban, as a good that's a, aged that's Cuban good, cigar. Yeah. That's good. Now the seeds from uh, from the San Andreas Valley were mostly Cuban seed too. Cuban seed too. Back in the day, there was a family there. I don't know if you remember, many years ago, the tobacco, uh, the brand, was called Te Amo. Te Amo, yeah. Those were made in Mexico and San Andres. Oh, okay, and yeah. uh, the name of the family was the Turrent family. And they were Cuban family from like the 1920s that came from Cuba to Mexico, established themselves there. And, uh, and they started producing cigars, or making, growing tobacco, and then to subsequently making cigars. Yeah. Years later, Te Amo sold uh, the brand to a big company. I don't know if General has it or one of the big companies. But anyway, the Tourette family is still not involved in Tamil, but they're involved in their own cigars now, too. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. yeah. Old I mean, cigar growing family. It's not yeah. a bad cigar. I mean, it's, not, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I'm enjoying it. You guys can see a nice clean ash right here. And you know what? Um, let me just take this moment to say we haven't done a video in quite a while because my yeah. phone kind of fell in the pool. <laughs> So that's true. That's true. It's we're cool. using a different uh, device right now. You're learning. A, you're learning how to do a video in a, oh, in a new device. I'm learning how to use a different kind of equipment here. We're gonna come with new videos. Uh, uh, pretty soon, we're gonna be uh, sampling new cigars, oh. upcoming yeah. cigars, and everything. Hardish. So anyway, so I'm still enjoying the hell out of this one. No, it's good, and it is a medium to full body. Um, not really spicy at all. You get a little bit of that peppery flavor at the back end, but uh, and for twenty five years, it's wow. it's a it's a it's a smoke. It's mind boggling. And just to let you know, just sold one right now. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the box so that they can see it. Yes, I just sold one right now. Um, I told the client about it's a twenty five year old cigar about the history, and they want to take this to uh, a smoker. And I said this would be a really cool thing to uh, give it as a gift for somebody that smokes. Because you know, not every day you get a chance to smoke a cigar that's been 25 years, you know. That's what the box looks like, guys. No. Ornelas, and let me show you guys the date: November 4th, 1997. Sorry. There it is, right there. No. See, and these were made in um, in Guadalajara, Jalisco. Jalisco. Yeah. But the tobacco is San Andres tobacco. Yeah. Yeah, and I just sold one, and, uh, you know, I said it's a really good conversation piece because, you know, the guy is a smoker. You say, hey, this cigar has been out since 25 years ago. You found it. You know, it's a cool, it's a vintage, it's a cool thing, and it is good. Um, not too not too peppery. It's not that, that flavor. It's a medium to full. Mine is burning really so nice. Look at this. Yeah, look. It is. It's smoking really well as well. Hmm. Not to mention, I mean, part of the fun, like I always like to say, is endorsing our products, our cigars that we're making yes. here. But whenever I come across, so, you know, something like this, which is very rare, yeah. I think it's always worth talking about it and mentioning it. It is. I mean, 
you know, we, we, we tell you exactly what we think about every cigar. Like, you know, they'll ask us, is your cigar better than this brand? And if we think it's not, we'll say, no, the brand is better than the ones that are ours. If we think that our cigars are better, we'll tell them, yes, our cigar, we think they're better. Unless they say, hey, we don't give a shit about what you guys think. <laughs> but no, most of the times they ask yeah. for humble, honest opinion, which we are very welcoming to give right yes because we try to, Happy to give we smoke the cigar so we know we understand we smoke the cigars and then we can like this one right now you know 25 year old he's you know arlo, arlo said what do we do i said let's try them to see if we can smoke them and we did and we we're trying them and it's good a medium to full body and i asked him if he was going to keep it in his human or for long term no. <laughs> and i said let's smoke it and he's like let's smoke it i said all right yeah. let's smoke it but yeah. god it's almost like a sin to smoke these aren't they when you see something like this that's been around so many years and it's just yeah, but it's very I, cool though. It's very cool. It's very cool, but like that's what I said. It's very cool because we're smokers and to come across a, a vintage cigar, we gotta smoke it because it's a vintage. I mean, when is gonna be the next time I'm gonna get a chance to smoke a vintage? That's right. You gotta you know, you gotta live a little. You gotta live you gotta a little enjoy life. You know, Keep try a vintage, try a good cigar. Why not? You know, time is too short to smoke bad cigars. I agree. <laughs> There was a t-shirt that I saw that said, life is too short to smoke cheap cigars. Yes. And I have to agree with that. <laughs> but anyway, with that being said, um, is there anything else you want to add? I mean, we haven't done a video in quite a while, but... Uh, we're coming back. We're going to make more videos. We're coming back strong. Strong, strong. And, uh, with, uh, we're taking a break for the summer. For the summer, yeah. Summer like, break. Like uh, back in the day, remember, like taking Magnum PI and... Taking a break from the summer, and then we'll be back making shows. more more, more videos, uh, tasting more cigars yeah. going over, because we have... A huge new variety of cigars that we brought in so we have to have good content though you know a uh, good substance matter here to make yeah. these videos and this is a good one yeah 25 year old one. made in mexico you know 25 year old cigar this is good this and the glass mexican coke that comes in the bottle yeah those are pretty darn good yeah it's good not a bad combination at all because <laughs> if you guys go to costco or sam's club they still sell those <laughs> The big glass Mexican <laughs> Coma, I gotta have those. It has that raw brown sugar. So Oof, well, those are good. I'm gonna put one telephone on him. We're gonna put Dr. Coffee on TV again. The latest YouTube sensation, Fred Montesino. Fred's kids. What are you guys doing out here? What are you doing? Oh, you know, enjoying us here. Trying the new, the special one, Don Ramon 1917, the prototype. What do you think? It's very good. It's uh, almost a full body cigar. You weren't it's supposed ready. to release the name of it, though. <laughs> it's already on the video. Don't worry. But this is the prototype. We All right. No, it's in the works. It's in the it's works. It's in the works. So the names can change. You know, it's like the movies. At the end, when you edit everything. The names can change. The names can change. You know? They're not uh, real characters. They're not real characters. <laughs> what are you doing, Doc? Oil Monterrey, eh? Oil Monterrey. Great. Split. It split a little bit, though. It could have been the heat out here. Very warm. 104. You gotta learn to smoke the right part of it. That's yeah. the problem. That's all I'm It's 104 out here, but a little breezy. Very nice. It's a little breezy, which is good. Super cool. Absolutely. We're enjoying the weather out here today. Beautiful day. It's a nice breeze. We're getting a nice breeze. It's hot, but we're getting a nice breeze. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a little overcast right now. Yeah. Because yesterday was really hot here. Anyway, you guys see us here hanging out at the shop. We're having a pretty good weekend. Uh, just wanted to wish you guys out there a happy Father's Day. Uh, of course, I'm always thinking of Dad. Everywhere I look around here, there's the old man. <coughs> God knows I miss him, and I know he's having a, a good Father's Day up in heaven. So I hope you guys are having a good Father's Day, and thanks for watching. Till next time.